ओम शांति ट्वेंटी अप्रैल 2024 साकार मुरली इसंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू बिकम वेल्दी इन द मॉर्निंग एंड बेगर्स इन द इवनिंग इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम वेल्दी फ्रॉम बेगर्स एंड प्योर फ्रॉम इम्प्योर रिमेंबर टू वर्ड्स मनमना भव एंड मथ्याची भव क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द वे टू बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम कार्मिक बॉन्डेज आंसर फर्स्ट पॉइंट द पिलग्रिमेज ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस एंड चर्निंग दिस नॉलेज सेकेंड लेट दर बी ऑल रिलेशनशिप्स विथ दी वन योर इंटेलेक्ट शुड नॉट बी पुल्ड बाय एनी वन लेट अर योगा रिमेन कनेक्टेड टू दी ऑल माई टी बैटरी पे फुल अटेंशन टू योर सेल्फ कॉन्स्टेंटली हैव द विंग्स ऑफ डिवाइन वर्च्यूज एंड यू विल कंटिन्यू टू बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम कार्मिक बॉन्डेजेस Om Shanti the father has sat and explained to you that this is the story of Bharat what is the story being wealthy in the morning and a beggar in the evening there is a story about this the king was wealthy in the morning you don't hear these things when you are wealthy only at the confluence age do you children hear the things about being wealthy and beggars this has to be imbibed by your heart truly devotion makes you a beggar and this knowledge makes you wealthy this day and night are unlimited to become wealthy from a beggar is also a matter of the unlimited and it is the unlimited father who makes you that for all impure souls there is only the one battery to make them pure if you remember such slogans you will remain happy the father says You children become wealthy in the morning and you then become beggars in the evening. The father explains to you how you become this. The father then also shows you the way to become pure from impure and wealthy from a beggar. The two methods are manmana bhav and madhyaji bhav. You children also know that this is the most auspicious confluence age. it is guaranteed for all of you who are sitting here that you will be wealthy in the heaven number wise according to the efforts you make it is the same in a school the classes are transferred number wise when an examination is over students go and sit down number wise that is a limited matter and this is an unlimited matter souls go into the rosary of rudra number wise the rosra the rose uh, the rosary or the tree the seed is that of a tree anyway the supreme soul is the seed and the human the supreme soul is the seed of the human world tree you children know how the tree grows and how it becomes old previously you did not know this the father has come and explained it to you this is now the most auspicious confluence age you children now have to make effort you also have to adopt the wings of divine virtues pay full attention to yourselves only by going on the pilgrimage of remembrance will you become pure there is no other way have full yoga with the father Who is the Almighty Battery? His battery never becomes flat. He doesn't go through the stages of Sato, Rajo, Tamo, because he constantly has his karmati stage. You children go into bondages of karma. The bondages are so strong. There is only one way to become free from those karmic accounts: the pilgrimage of remembrance. there is no other way than this for instance this knowledge softens your bones in fact even devotion softens you one would say this helpless person is a devotional person he doesn't cheat or deceive anyone however there is deception amongst devotees baba has experienced this when a soul carries out his business through his body 
everything of this world is in his awareness. One would remember one's own life story from the age of 4 or 5. Some forget things of even 10 or 20 years ago. You cannot remember the name and form of birth after birth, but you can recall a few things of this one birth. People still have their photos etc. They cannot recall anything of their other births. Each soul has a different name, form, land, time and part that he plays. The name and form all continue to change. It is in your intellects how a soul sheds a body and takes another. This soul must definitely have taken 84 births and had 84 names and 84 fathers. At the end of all relationships become Tamapradhan. You never have as many relationships at any other time as you do at this time. You should understand that iron age relationships are bondages. People have so many children who then get married and have their own children. At this time you have the most relationships maternal uncles, paternal uncles. The more relatives you have, the more bondages you have. It was written in the newspapers that quintuplets had been born and that all are healthy. Just think how many relatives there are. At this time, your relatives are the least of the one. At this time, your relatives are the least of all. You have all the relationships with just the one father. Your intellects, yoga is not connected to anyone except the one. In the golden age, there will be more than this. Your birth is like a diamond at this time. The highest father adopts you children. It is only now that you go into his lap while alive in order to claim your inheritance. You have gone into the lap of the father from whom you receive the inheritance. No one is higher than you Brahmins. The yoga hall of you is connected to the one father. You don't have any relationships with, with one another either. Even the relationship of brother and sister makes you fall because that is body consciousness. All relationships should be with the one. This is something new. You have to become pure and then return home. By churning the ocean of knowledge in this way, you will begin to sparkle. There is a difference of day and night between the golden age sparkle and the iron age sparkle. At the time of the path of devotion, it is the kingdom of Ravan. At the end, there is no, there is so much arrogance of science. They try to compete with the golden age. A child wrote news about asking people, Are you in heaven or in hell? Four to five replied that they were in heaven. There is a difference of day and night in their intellects. Some believe that they are in hell and you then have to explain to them, Do you want to become residents of heaven? Who establishes heaven? These are very sweet matters. You note these down, but these notes just remain in your notebooks. You don't remember them at a time of need. It is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Shiva, who makes you pure from impure. He says, Constantly remember me alone, and your sins will be cut away. There will be be an income by having remembrance. The system of remembrance has now emerged. You become so elevated, pure and clean by having remembrance. According to the efforts you make, you claim a status. You can even ask Baba. In the world, there is nothing but quarrels because of relationships and property. Here, there are no relationships. You belong to the one father and none other. The father is the master of the unlimited. This is something very easy. On that side is heaven and on this side is hell. 
आर द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ हेवन गुड और आर द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ हेल गुड दो आर सेंसिबल वुड से दैट द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ हेवन आर गुड बिकॉज दे डोंट नो द फादर सम से दैट दे आर नॉट कंसर्न विद द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ हेवन और रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ हेल सम लिव द फादर स्लैप एंड गोइंग टू माई आर स्लैप इट इज अ वांडर The father is wonderful, and this knowledge is also wonderful. Everything is wonderful. Those who understand these wonders should be such that their intellects remain connected to those wonders. Ravan is not a wonder, nor is his creation a wonder. There is a difference of day and night. They have written in the scriptures that Sri Krishna went to. Kali Daha, that is pool of a serpent with five heads, and that he then became ugly because he was bitten by that serpent. You can now explain all of these things very clearly. If someone were to pick up Sri Krishna's picture and study it, he would become refreshed. This is the story of eighty-four births. Just as it is Sri Krishna's story, so it is also your story. You go to heaven. You then also go into the silver age. Growth continues to take place. It isn't that only those who are to become kings in the silver age will come in the silver age. The uneducated ones will have to bow down in front of the educated ones. Only Baba can know the secrets of this drama. You now know that all your friends and relatives, etc., residents of hell, and that you are the most auspicious of you are the most auspicious confluence aged ones. You are now becoming the most elevated ones. There is a lot of difference between when you live outside and when you come and stay here for seven days. You come out of the company of swans and enter the company of storks. There are many who spoil others. Many children don't care about the murlies. The father explains, "Do not be careless. You have to become fragrant flowers. Just one thing is enough for you: the pilgrimage of remembrance. Here, you only have the company of brahmins. There is a difference between the highest of all and the lowest of all. Children, right? Baba would." What would I, one swan alone, do in the company of a group of storks? Storks prick like thorns. You have to make so much effort. By following the father Shrimat, you will claim a high status. Always remain a swan. Do not become a stork in the company of storks. That is the saying. Those who are amazed by this knowledge then. Related it to others, and then ran away. If you have even a little of this knowledge, you can go to heaven. But there will be the difference of day and night. There will be very severe punishment. The father says, if you do not follow my directions and you become impure, you receive one hundred fold punishment, and your status is also reduced. A kingdom is being established. You forget these things. If you remembered even this much, you would definitely make effort to claim a high status. If you don't make effort, it is understood that you listen with one ear and let it out through the other, and that you don't have yoga with the father. While living here, your intellects yoga remain connected. Your thoughts go somewhere or other. If you fall in love with someone, your intellect clings to that one. Baba explains to you every day. Whether you see with these eyes, it is to be destroyed. Let your intellects remain connected in yoga to the new world. Also, connect your intellects in yoga to unlimited relationships. This beloved is wonderful. On the path of devotion, people sing. When you come, we will not remember anyone except you. Now that I have come, 
you have to remove your intellects yoga from everywhere else all of that is going to turn to dust it is as though your intellects are connected in yoga to dust if your intellects are connected in yoga to me you will become the masters the father makes you so sensible people don't know what this devotion is or what the knowledge is you have now received this knowledge and so you are you also understand what devotion is you now have a feeling of much sorrow there is in devotion you now have a feeling of how much sorrow there is in devotion people perform devotion and consider themselves to be very happy then they also say god will come and give us the fruit they don't know how god will give the fruit or to whom he will give it you now understand that the father has come to give you the fruit of your devotion you have to follow the directions of the father from whom you receive the fruit of the kingdom of the world these directions are called the highest directions of all everyone receives these directions some are able to follow them whereas others are not an unlimited sovereignty is to be established you now understand what you were and what your condition has now become maya completely destroys you this is like a world of corpus whatever you heard on the path of devotion you continue to say true true to that however you now know that only the one father tells you the truth you should remember the one father if anyone from outside sat here he would not understand anything he would say i don't know what these people are talking about the whole world says that god is omnipresent whereas these people say that he is their father he would continue to shake his head in disagreement he would continue say yes yes this is why new ones are not allowed to come here cha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children too say namaste to the spiritual father essence of dharna 1 in order to become fragrant plus you need to be very cautious about the company you keep keep the company of swans remain swans never become careless about the moolli second in order to be liberated from karmic bondages have all your relationships at the conference age with the one father do not have any relationships with one another do not allow your intellects to cling in yoga to someone by falling in love in a limited relationship remember the one alone blessing may you be truly loving and merged in love for god and remain absorbed in meeting him explanation the sign of love that has been remembered is that although there are two beings they become combined in one form this is known as being merged devotees have referred to this stage of love as being merged or absorbed to merge in love is a stage however instead of a stage they consider the identity of souls to finish for all time when your children become absorbed in meeting the father or your spiritual beloved then you become equal to him slogan someone who is introverted becomes free from wasteful thoughts his mind and remains in silence cha om shanti